guys. Um, Super SNS Productions here. I'm coming with you for my first tutorial, so please bear with me as I'm trying to get this string completely visible to you. I've already had to do this twice, so I'm hoping this is a thing. I'll turn up the background music a little bit. Um, I'm not going to try to keep that too overpowering. So this is a trick I was just messing around with the other day. Um, I don't have a name for it, so if you guys want to comment and just give me a name suggestion, I will think about every different name. I'll try to come up with one, but for now, the actual trick, which is going to look like this. Sorry about that uh, last part of the confusion, but this is a lot easier than it looks. Wait. Yeah, it's a lot easier than it looks. I'm just confusing myself. I've had a long day with track. So, you want to start off with the double or nothing. And I'm hoping you can see that clearly enough. Otherwise, I'm talking to myself. But, you're going to curl your throw hand index in towards yourself to hold on to the yo-yo because you're going to be swinging it counterclockwise over both fingers. So you're just going to curl in and you're going to swing around and over. Note that this is still in a trapeze so if you drop you're in a trapeze. You don't have to worry about it being crossed and then getting a wrap in the string or whatever. This whole trick, no matter where you drop it, unless you've done something that I have not explained, you will not get across. You will, it's all like a trap thing. I was thinking of it's a trap for the name but that's a bit overused. So you cross your you cross it over. Then this string right here draping over your non-throw hand index, you're going to grab that with your pinky or any other finger really. I find it a lot more comfortable with my pinky. You're going to underpass the yo-yo, leaving you in a mock whip type thing. Drop off, you just have an extra wrap around um, your double or nothing. So it's going to leave you in this mock whip type thing. You just bounce around. You don't do anything with the string. You're going to bring your pinky back, rejecting the string, putting you back into a double or nothing. I'll show that to you from... I'll try to... It's really close in here, but... I'll try to show you the string rejection real quick. I'm going to try to keep it short. So I have it with my pinky, and I'm just bringing it back. Rejects, and if it falls off, I just put it back on. So, there's pretty much, I, I guess if I broke it down to three, that'd be part one. Once you're back into your double or nothing, you're going to go double on. Now, this isn't, like, mandatory or anything. You can do a variation where it's just a double or nothing. I find it a lot easier to do a double or on, because you're going to curl your throw hand around the yo-yo like so. And then you're just going to unravel that. And then if you're on a double, you'd unravel that twice, obviously. you drop it. There's nothing. Now, when you're going through the speedy, like I said, it's easier just to do it with the double on instead of just that one. That's just me. If you don't want to do the double on, that's whatever. So, double on. Actually, I'll show that to you from a different angle. Double on, you're just going to bring it around like so, and off, and off. Um, Alright, so my phone's going to loop into the next song, which I will explain at the end. So, double on, cross, off, off. You're going to now bring this under and around like a trapeze and its brother, landing on that index finger. Now you can drop the string off your middle finger, and you can just roll it however it has, there's really no direction for it. Drop it, drop it, there's nothing, like I said. So I think that's probably the coolest part of this trick, is that you can do whatever and you won't have a knot. I don't tell you, I can't tell you enough how many times I've been trying to learn a trick and I get a knot. 
So you're going to do a reverse suicide-like motion into this triangle. And what that will do is you'll be in a weird, almost green triangle-looking thing, but uh, really, yeah, you see, now I'm, now I'm mad. No, I'm not. It's going to give you a green triangle-looking form, but if you're a veteran yo-yo -er, sort of, you just know that that'll drop you into a trapeze. So now you're in your trapeze, and you're going to roll off into a one and a half. So I guess this would be considered part three. I'm going to try to resound myself. Again, if the angles aren't the best, I'm truly sorry. I'm kind of fed up with doing this. So you're in your one and a half. Now you're going to take a non-throw hand, curl it up, in and out. You have a double twist in the string. You're going to unravel the yo-yo from that one and a half mount, but you're going to put it behind all the strings. You're going to put it back in the front and land like a chopstick-like thing. You're just going to go one, oops. Now you're just going to go in once, twice, three times. You'll drop off into a binding motion. You can bind however you like from that, and that's the whole trick. So, the whole trick together, I will perform right now the music. First song was Skrillex Bangarang. Pretty good. I'm just trying to find something to cover the length of this tutorial, which was really lengthy. I am sorry. Um, that's not right. The second song is Outcast. I like the way you move. Another really good song. Uh, it'll probably end, which means the song will probably be a little more than seven minutes, which, once again, I apologize for. Um, I know I'll have someone ask the string, type 12 hamstring, yo-yo, yo-yo factory DNA, with a really nice orange-red splash, and so when it's spinning, it gives off a nice little tint. As far as I know, this colorway is sold out, so, um, I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you learned something. Super SNS Productions out.